What's up everyone, this is FM Scout and welcome back to Tactics Testing. Now this tactic is a nap tactic, it's very attacking. Three attacking midfielders with a shadow striker, two strikers and only one midfielder. Well it actually did pretty well. Stay tuned for the video guys. Right then, welcome back. So before we begin, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, everyone. Obviously, big thumbs up on the video as well. And uh, let us know if you downloaded this tactic. Let us know how it went for you in the comments. All right. And if you have time after that, I'm Tucker Jobs. It will be great if you go over to my channel and support me there. The link is in the description as well as the download link for this tactic. So here we go. It's the Mad is a Hatter nap tactic. It's a 4 1 3 2. As you can see, it's very. Very lacking in the midfield, but it did all right, to be fair. Uh, you have got the inverted wing backs, so they do come in to these sections right here in the midfield. So it doesn't seem as bad as it looks, um, and it and it done fairly well, basically. So the teams taking part in this test, uh, Man U, Leeds, PSG, Clermont, um, Juventus, Sassuolo, Luton, Sheffield Wednesday, and Swindon. All right, a lot of teams, guys. We love it. We love it. Um... So if you can't download it, guys, we'll go through the instructions in just a second. If you can, I've already said it's in the description. Click the link and it'll take you over to FM Scout where you can download this tactic. Um, but let's get through with the instructions, all right? Advance forward left. Advance forward right. Winger left. Winger right. Shadow striker. Deep line playmaker. Inverted wing back left. Inverted wing back right. Four plane defender left. Four plane defender right. And the sweeper keeper, set piece instructions, corners, defending right and left. And attacking left and right. And it's the Beowulf 442 system, guys. So it's the uh, corner aim aiming for the near post. Free kicks, defending right and left. And attacking left and right. And then small chance of shot, attacking right and left. Wide, left and right. And attacking deep, free kicks, right and left. And finally, guys, the throwing instructions, defending right and left and attacking left and right and it's the long throwings because they do actually do pretty well so far in football manager 22 as well so back to the tactic then it's a positive mentality in possession fairly wide on the attacking width passing space on the approach play overlapping on the left and right will play out defense shorter passing directness with a higher tempo low crosses in the final third work ball into box and run at the defense in transition all it is is counter press and counter no instructions for the goalkeeper and then out of possession, you are much higher on the line of engagement, higher defensive line, force opposition outside on the defensive width, much more often on the trigger press, uh, prevent short goalkeeper distribution, and the get stuck in instruction is on. So yeah, you've got the teams, we've got all the instructions, you've got all of the set piece instructions, you can go and get this tactic right now in the download. But we're going to have a look and uh, we're going to simulate season and we'll have a look at all the results at the end. So here we are, end of the season now, everybody. So as you can see, Manchester United and Leeds were the teams being tested, and they did fairly well. Obviously, Man U did, only lost twice, uh, won the league by eight points, all right, 96 points, Liverpool on 88, uh, and came first, all right. Leeds, not quite underdogs, midish table team, and they came fifth. All right, so close as well to qualifying for your uh, for Champions League. Four points there, just behind Arsenal. Um, but yeah, absolutely fantastic in my opinion. Obviously, the tactic itself looks very attacking. Where you've got you're a bit lacking in the midfield. So, in my opinion, would you use it all season, or would you just use it as an attacking variation, or as a set of three or two tactics that you've got set up? I would probably use it as an attacking set. All right, so obviously you're looking for a goal, you switch over to this tactic. Not something permanent. I know the test did well, but you've got to look at it in a realistic term because obviously you might have a tactic that you think, yeah, it's absolutely fantastic is my standard. I've got a defensive one. Now I want an attacking one. So this this might be pretty good for your attacking version. All right, so uh, let's have a look at the top threes then in the Premier League. Ronaldo coming top right there with 24 goals actually uh tied with jamie vardy and rodrigo the striker for leeds came third with 21 goals average ratings best player was fernandez 7.87 rafina coming third assist you got fernandez and rafina once again they had a stormer of a season apparently um player of the matches fernandez and rafina so fernandez was i think mainly the shadow striker to be fair if we have a look at the tactics uh, midfielder center yeah attacking midfielder center look so he mainly played as a shadow striker did very very well in that position and obviously so did Rafina 
Did he play in the same position? That is the question. No, he was the attacking left and attacking right. So, yeah, it's just a little bit down to player quality there. But they did really, really well. At least, you know, that the attacking lefts are getting in on the action. The shadow strikers getting in on, in on the action. Obviously, one of the strikers for each team are scoring quite a bit as well. Um, so, yeah, nice one. So, Manchester United's competitions, how did they do? They won the Champions League. All right, so he <laughs> got married at that. They actually beat PSG in the final. You can see right here, PSG being the other team that used the tactic. So a nice one, Manu, nice one. Um, so they ended up getting the double. Obviously didn't win any other cups. If we go straight to the squad, go to the average ratings and everything, the best player was Fernandez with 27 goals, 31 assists for the shadow striker, guys. Insane. Nice one. All right, biggest scorers. Uh, Ronaldo with 37, Greenwood, 28. And then Fernandez is there. Cavani, Maguire. All right, Maguire and Varane, both getting double digits on goals. So the set pieces are working. They're doing absolutely fantastic on the corners. 13 goals and 10 goals uh, for the two centre-backs there. So, yeah, nice. Looking good. Obviously, Fernandez bossed it. Bossed it when it was uh, on the assist, 31. Sancho, 17. He would have played on the right. Martial there with 11. Pogba, Ronaldo, Greenwood all getting double digits. All right, so they all did really well on the assists as well um if we go to the actual full numbers all right for this tactic it's 188 goals scored by manchester united 53 conceded now that's in every competition in just the league it was 122 scored which was the best team in the league and uh, only 32 conceded which was the third best team on the data hub then if we have a look at the general performance you can see here that we're the blue bit, all right? We are, <laughs> apart from pass completion, we are far exceeding all the averages in every area of the game, all right? Goals, expected goals, conceded, expected. Uh, team attacking again, we are so dominant. So many shots, expected goals. We're actually scoring more than we're expected. A lot of dribbles, a lot of crosses in the box as well, using wingers uh, would do that for you. Um, and then teams defending, you can see here, conceded per game is less than one. Expected goals that we're expected to concede is one, so we're doing well defensively there. We're getting a lot of a lot of tackles in, um, and a lot of interceptions as well. Clearances, uh, fouls, and all that. That's that's not too bad. Obviously, we're not doing a lot of fouls. You can see right there. Uh, clearances as well. It looks like we're not clearing anything really. We're just we're playing from the back. Right, that's what you want. Play from the back. We love it. We love it. So nice one, Manu. All right, if we go to Leeds, uh, the mid-table team coming fifth is Bob on. You can see, obviously, the players that are in the top threes for Leeds. If we go to their competitions then, uh, FA Cup and Carabao Cup, they didn't win any. Got knocked out by Liverpool in both rounds, to be fair. So if we go straight to the squad then, best player, a lot of players getting some decent average ratings. Rafina, seven goals, 19 assists. Biggest goal scorers, Rodrigo and Bamford, 25 and 16. Obviously, the two most used uh, strikers for Leeds, are obviously. Um, biggest creator in the team only one player got double digits and that was Rafina and if we go to their full numbers it was 99 goals and 56 conceded that's not too bad All right, I've seen worse than that they are a mid to well mid table team um, and that that's that's all right that's all right you'll be surprised when we actually look on the league of how they compare to the other teams all right, so if we go to the uh, data hub then, you can see here again on the general performance that it pretty much looks like Man U, just on a smaller scale, but we're still on the outside of the averages. So that's all all, all good there. All good there at the end of the day. Um, last match passes, if you want a little bit of an idea of which way, of, this is just leads, obviously it could vary a little bit from team to team, but uh, they were a little bit heavy on the left-hand side, obviously going through that way, but it looks like a nice little passing map to be fair. I right, can see a nice shape. Sometimes when you're not playing well, you look on this passing map and it does actually look like a mess. It is it is noticeable on the passing map uh, and the way and the way it is the way you play. So at least here you can see that they're a little bit heavy on that left hand side, um, but it worked. All right, Leeds did it really really well. So yeah, that's one Leeds. But if you actually go to the league lock. 83 goals scored so you are still the second best scoring team in the league ladies and gents uh 44 conceded which was the fifth best so we can't moan at that absolutely incredible for both teams all right so obviously we'll go to the team overview comparing to the rest of the league most goals manu and leeds coming first and second uh, most points obviously that's the league most shots for manu there leeds coming fourth as well possession 
Nap Tactics sometimes can lack a little bit of possession and best pass completion there, so you don't tend to see them. Uh, dribbles made, Manu leads there, third and fourth, and fewest conceded. Uh, Manu coming third and fifth for Leeds. Most clean sheets, Manu, and again, Leeds coming joint fifth. So, yeah, pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, let's go to France, PSG and Clermont, all right? They, uh, again, top team, elite team is PSG. We use PSG so we can see the big numbers of what the tactic is actually capable of when you've got a very, very good team. Uh, Clermont, all right, they are the underdogs in this league, predicted relegation. They came fourth. They came fourth, PSG, yes, they came first. They always will come first, like we said. We like to see the big numbers. Uh, top player stats, it was the two strikers of four PSG. Mbappe and Icardi getting 36 and 29 league goals, average rating. Um, Mbappe, 7.72, best player. And then you've got uh, Huntonji. Am I saying that right? Huntonji. Huntonji for Clermont. All right, 7.72 coming second. And Messi there coming third on the average ratings. Uh, and then assists there. You've got PSG and Clermont players. 21 assists for Neymar. Nice. <laughs> Oh, that's just the league, that is, guys. Uh, player of the matches, again, you've got uh, two PSG players, Messi and Icardi, 8 and 7, and no one else, or no players in the clean sheets. We're going to count the other cards. There's a lot from Clermont, all right? They come first, obviously, with 17 there, but we don't really count the yellow cards on the top threes because it's a negative top three. It's not a good top three. Um, so, yeah, nice one. PSG competitions, and we know they didn't win the Champions League because Manu did, so the runners up there. Runners up of the French Cup. Mm. Hey. Lil <laughs> uh, and Trophy says champions, there were the winners there, um, winning on penalties. So, yeah, awesome squad. A lot of players getting some good ratings there, guys. All right, your best player was Mbappe 54 goals, 15 assists. Biggest goal scorers after Mbappe, Messi with 35, Acardi with 31, Rafina, Ramos, the center back with 14, Kimpembe. All right, another center back got seven goals. And biggest creators, there's a lot of players chipping in with some creative uh, vision right there. Um, yeah, you got like 10, 10 players, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10. 10 players getting over double digits on creating goals. Neymar, 29. Mbappe, Messi, uh, both getting 15, 13. And so on. So, yeah, full numbers, guys. 203 goals. There we go. We like it when we break the 200 barrier. It always shows you've got a lovely attacking tactic. And, uh, yeah, goes to show that we've done really well with elite elite squads. So I do recommend it for elite squads, obviously, as your attacking option, because um, for smaller teams, maybe over the course of so many games, it might get a little bit tiring. Um, it is a high-pressing tactic, obviously high line as well. So don't forget, guys, it's all about rotation, keeping your players fit, um, and maybe dropping dropping the intensity if you can if you say you're winning two nil three nil something like that no point doing it for 90 minutes if you are absolutely thrashing them um but yeah awesome only 37 conceded in all competitions as well we like to see it data hub obviously on the general performance it's going to be absolutely mad uh, psg normally is so many goals look at that nearly four goals per game on average nearly four goals on the averages incredible Team attacking, team defending is going to be insane. You can see here, as usual with the top teams, a lot, not a lot of fouls are being made, not a lot of clearances either. All right, you pass it, you're winning the ball and passing from the back. You're not clearing the ball. Uh, a lot of tackles, and so on and so forth. So yeah, well done PSG. Nice one. Come on. All right, they are the underdogs, and I can't believe they were so close to getting Champions League football. Incredible uh, competitions. They didn't win anything, but did get to the semi-final of the French Cup. It was PSG that knocked them out. The score was. Not that bad for Clermont, all right? 2-1. You would think they would get absolutely smashed, but they didn't. Nice one, all right? Decent, uh, decent scoreline for Clermont, to be fair. All right, if we go to the squad then, not as many players getting some decent ratings, but your best player was Huntonji. I don't know if I'm saying that right. I've never actually looked at these players too much to uh, learn the names, to be fair. Bio. So Bio was your top goal scorer, and Tell as well, 28 and 24. Biggest creators, just... Uh, Bertha Mia and Elevina, <laughs> 22 and 10. You can probably slate me in the comments, guys, if I'm butchering the pronunciations of these names. I do apologize. Uh, if we go to the full numbers for the underdogs, then 106. They still scored 106, but they did let in 74. That's quite a lot, to be fair. Um, if we go to the data hub, all right, general performance. So conceding, we're dropping down a little bit, but you expect that for a team like come on, all right? They are underdogs, all right? They were predicted to get relegated, and they didn't. We know they didn't. 
but everywhere else looks absolutely fantastic. Uh, last match passes, is it still heavily on the left? No, but you can still see a nice tidy shape going on right here. It seemed to be that they focused on the left and went straight to the middle and uh, went that way. And it looks nice. It does look really, really nice on the passing map. We like to see it, all right? So 446 pass combinations. Technical. <laughs> uh, so yeah, they did really well. All right, if we actually go to the league then, like last time, com uh, comparing to the other teams, um, overview, look, most goals, PSG and come on. PSG 151 league goals. Insane. <laughs> most shots for PSG and come on, first and third. Fewer shots against defensive-wise. All right, PSG doing well there, coming second. Best possession, come on. Oh, that's surprising. 50%, nice one. You don't normally see him in there. I said that with that tactics. It's uh, pretty good. Best pass completion. No teams made it there. Most dribbles made. PSG obviously coming first. Fourth for Clement. And fewest conceded. PSG coming first. Only conceding 22 league goals. So yeah. We like to see it guys. It looks really good. Uh, Juventus and Sassuolo. Again top team and an underdog middle team. Uh, Juventus really well. 100 points coming first. Um, and then Sassuolo uh, nearly getting Champions League football again. All right, 71 points. They were literally two points off it, and they would have got it for a goal difference. So awesome there. And if we go to the lower leagues of the England, England, all right, Championship League One, League Two, Luton is here. Luton came sixth, but they are predicted 11th. So the, uh, it is a little bit um, of progression, a little bit better than expected, uh, but missed out in the playoffs, unfortunately. Um, and then Sheffield Wednesday, promotion. Going down to League Two, Swindon, also promotion. So, yeah, guys, that's the Mad as a Hat tactic by Nap. Hopefully, if you do decide to download it, it works for you. Because don't forget, tactics test. It's not a certain guarantee, everyone. It can vary from team to team, from game to game. Um, but this just shows roughly what, what you could expect from it. Um, but it's, yeah, it's really attacking, really good. Uh, and as an app tactic, it's pretty, pretty standard. All right, it did really well with all teams involved. So, yeah, hopefully it works for you. Good luck in your games, guys. This is FM Scout. I'm Tucker Jobs. Hopefully you subscribe. Hopefully you visit my channel. And we'll see you in the future. See you later. Bye.